So I saw something interesting on the internet the other day. I was browsing, as one does, and I came across a post from my friend Mariah Elizabeth. And what do you know? She released her own paint set. This thing comes with paint brushes and it comes with paints. I would like to try these paints in today's video. I think it will be fun. I think they will be... Oh no, I just flung something out of the stove. Hold on. That was a little spoiler. I'm just gonna shove this back in there. Anyway, we have this canvas here and today we're gonna do a painting. We're gonna see how these paints are and I hope you have a fun time hanging out. Let's get started. The packaging is super cute, so I can't wait to see what the inside looks like. Okay, oh my word. <laughs> Look how cute this is. <gasps> this is pickle, oh my goodness. Stop it, this is so cute. <laughs> Look at these faces. Oh my goodness, Bumble Bear. <gasps> Georgie, my favorite, how cute. This is too cute. Oh my goodness, there's even little like, little paint dotting tools. This is so cool. Honestly, I always want to get some of these and I always forget, so it's really nice that this comes with them. I always use like toothpicks and stuff, but now I feel official. Hey, these paintbrushes. Oh my goodness, look. Even the bottom is all like ombre. I'm impressed by this. This is sweet. This is a really cute, like well thought out, aesthetically pleasing paint set. So yeah, let's just use this. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna take all these little tubes out so you can see how cute they all are when they're together, like a little family of characters. I just want a donut now. I know donut is like not in any of these names. Donut judge me, but. This just makes me want to eat all the unhealthy, delicious desserts out there. So I'm just going to get everything out of this set. Oh, so many paint dotting tools. This is so satisfying for real. Oh, there's a super tiny one. We have everything else we need. I did grab a little bit of white in case I feel like mixing these colors, but I'm inspired by something that you might see behind me. And I haven't decided if this video is coming out before or after what you might see behind me. Basically, I painted on 30 Christmas ornaments. For some of them, I did cute little creatures like this. So I'm kind of feeling this vibe since this color palette is really aligning with these creatures that I did. And it's all a coincidence because I did this before I ordered that. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's prep our palette together. That's a beautiful color. This is so on brand for Mariah too. If you watch her videos, which I recommend you should watch them. Yeah, she does a lot of things with pastel colors and just a really happy palette. So this is exciting. Ooh, look at that. This palette is gorgeous. So I'm just gonna go in and do the shape of, I think I wanna do a rabbit, I really do. So first I'm just kinda like figuring out the shape of this thing. Maybe I should have sketched this out. Wasn't feeling it. I also did not do my underpainting. Here's my like, kind of sketch thing that I'm gonna roll with. I will layer more once I'm sure what I wanna do. I need some paper towels. So if you've been with my channel for a while, I do this series called Animals in Clothing or Animals in Clothes. I don't know, the name kind of fluctuates, but I've done like cats and foxes. And yeah, I did this super cute little rabbit. And I kind of want to do something similar to this, but I might change up the colors and stuff. I'm feeling a brownish sweater, but I think I wanna make the background pink because this strawberry color here is gorgeous. So it's not gonna be like that ornament completely. Let's take this giant paintbrush. We'll block in a sweater. A 
Okay, that's blocked in. Let's take this adorable strawberry color and do this. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, I should have waited for the paint below it to dry. Now let's take this fluffy brush, block in the background. Ooh, this is gonna be satisfying. Okay, everything is blocked in-ish. I did some thin layers because I'm not really sure how I want to execute this yet. Once I'm a little more certain, I'll go in and yeah, see what I wanna do. But I think I wanna do a scarf. Maybe do that in blue. What do you think? Blue, we're gonna attempt this and then if we don't like it, we can change it, right? I'm hoping I'm making a good color decision for this scarf. This paint is super smooth. You know, I was just thinking like, how could you possibly paint something depressing with the colors that Mariah put in this set? <laughs> they exude so much happiness. I should rinse these. I don't want to crustify these already. I'm going to take a smaller paintbrush now and start doing some facial features so that I can shade the face. You know, I'm going to shade the face a little bit first. Okay, I just mixed up a darker color. I'm also going to do some shading in the ears. We need to do something cutesy for the eyes. I kind of want to do like really low eyes. a cute little scrunched up nose. Ugh, that little mouth, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna take this orangey color, mix it with a little bit of brown. Oh, I forget what I was gonna do with it though. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, eyebrows. I like that these colors go so well together. I just feel like this palette was very well thought out for different artists. Like you don't have to do a ton of mixing. Everything just kind of goes together. So if you squirt this paint like straight out of the tubes and go to use it, like you can use it. You don't have to do a whole lot of work to make it work. You know what I mean? I usually spend a lot of time mixing colors beforehand, but yeah, this is nice. They're like ready to use. It's a happy color scheme. Ooh, that was not what I meant to do. Oh my goodness, I did not mean to do that. Okay, I think I wanna do blush. Maybe I should make it a little darker. I can hardly tell, it's there. There we go. I'm going to revisit some other areas of this painting. I think I need to really solidify the pink background before I start doing more details. Let me show you where we're at so far. I definitely feel like I'm channeling my inner Mariah Elizabeth with this piece. It's the color palette, you know? It's just so happy, so pastel-y, and yeah, everything she does is like very pastel-y, very happy. And I mean, her characters are on these paint tubes, so yeah. I just think it's fun to kind of step into another artist's shoes and use like their typical color schemes. And I don't know, I feel like I'm viewing things through a different lens than what I would typically do. This is really fun. This is super inspiring for me. I'm gonna do a little bit of shading on this scarf and do like this chunk a little darker. Ooh, this just made a beautiful greenish color. This color makes me want Kraft mac and cheese, right? Doesn't it look like nacho cheese or Kraft mac and cheese cheese? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna just outline the sweater a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so now it's time to do stripes on the sweater. We're gonna do brown, because I think it would really fit this color scheme. Oh my goodness, this is a nice brush. Kind of reminds me of like half rabbit, half bumblebee. <laughs> okay. Completely unintentional, but now I can't unsee it. Let me know if you feel the same way. Okay, I'm gonna do some shading on the face. I want like little hairs. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, I just added a little bit of white because I want to see the hairs super well. Okay, I'm gonna do some fur up here on the ears. Oh, this is just so fun. So I have a question of the day for you. What was the last thing you painted? And like, seriously, even if you're not a painter and you're just chilling watching this, like, and the last time you painted was like seven years ago, I wanna know what you painted. Let me know. I love hearing about your art projects in the comments. Even if you painted like your shed out in the backyard, I wanna know. This thing is giving me like part bumblebee, part bunny, part fox vibes now because the way I'm doing this hair, fun stuff. Okay, I should do little whiskers, right? We'll get there. Let's just chill. Chill out, Girl Scout. This would be such a cool sticker. Might have to make that happen. A little bit lighter of fur here and there. What do you think? Nothing big, nothing fancy, just a couple little hairs. Gotta add some dimension. I like this paintbrush, wow. Okay, I'm gonna do whiskers because I do think it would be really cute. Oh, just little baby ones, you know? <laughs> Maybe a little thicker. Cute! We are making progress. Oh, I just love all the little hairs on the face. I think it brought it to life. In this palette, such a happy vibe. We shall continue. I would like to take this beautiful green color and maybe incorporate this into the scarf. I'm not really sure how yet. Maybe I'll do a little bit of white. We'll brighten it. I like this so far. Ooh, you know what? I need to do under here too. Cannot forget those stripes. They need to be a little darker though. Ooh, I should use this color. It's really cute. So it would be really adorable if this scarf had like hearts all over it too. That seems like a happy thing, right? Ooh, this is a nice color. I don't know what I just got myself into, but I feel like it's gonna take forever to do these hearts now. Like, why did I do this? <laughs> So many hearts. All right, just have to do the neck piece now. We've got this, we can do this. Some of these will be implied and that's okay. Boom, got that. All right, now I need to decide if I wanna do snowflakes out here or on the sweater, because I did hearts on the scarf. While I decide, I'm taking this dotting tool and I'm gonna have fun on the scarf. What up, derp? Supply me with more blue. Okay, so I just mixed like a brownish green color. This here, if you care to take a peek, see? I'm gonna take the planet's cutest dotting tool and just go in. Oh my word. This is satisfying. I don't know if I've ever used one of these. <gasps> oh, I love this. Okay, I did not do hearts on the bottom of this scarf. I did not forget. Um, I just have a different plan for the bottom of the scarf. You'll have to see later though. I have to do the sweater first. <laughs> this is cool because they're not like exactly the same, but it's inspired from this. Back to dotting my little scarf. Why have I never used one of these tools before? This is so fun. I'm gonna have to do this to my nails later. I'm gonna take another dotting tool, mix up some light blue. This is such a fun way to add texture to paintings. 
We're just dotting with light blue now. Scarf is complete. Really happy with how that turned out. Okay, so this sweater, quite the conundrum. You know what? I think I am gonna do snowflakes on the sweater. I think it makes sense. So I'm gonna take this Georgie color here and then mix it with a little bit of white for like a creamy snowflake color. It's beautiful. Now I will block in my snowflakes. Should I make them all different? Oh, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of thought. <laughs> Shapes are blocked in on the top stripe. Details. I like that. I can roll with this. Gonna take another dotting tool and just do some textures around the sweater. This thing is seriously so fun to use. <laughs> Any excuse I can, I will use it. Some Georgie. Our friend Georgie. We need to do the strings on the scarf. Okay, so I thought I wanted to do stuff with the background, but after adding all these patterns and stuff, I honestly think less is more, and I should keep it like this. Okay, I normally don't do paintings in this style. Like, you can see the stuff behind me. I am a style hopper, and I do explore quite a bit. You can see that ocean piece back there. Needless to say, I'm always hopping around. But I think when I was painting all these Christmas ornaments, uh playful illustrative style kind of kicked in that I hadn't really done much since I used acrylic wash all the time and just gouache paint. So doing this with acrylic was refreshing. I really enjoyed this. Now there are some things I wanna say about Mariah's paints and I hope it's encouraging for you, but I think her paint set, also wait, 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 comment of the day, Please name my rabbit in the comments. We need to find a name for this. You always name my characters. You folks were the inventors of my Blubblefly name. I just painted them and then you guys named them. Please name this. But on a serious note, I do wanna say some things about Mariah's paints. First of all, I wanna say this paint set is very well thought out. Like I can just tell that this paint set was created with such intention and the first thing I really, really thought about when I was using these paints was, wow, this paint set is literally approachable for anybody. There is a color scheme, and this color scheme is very, very, like, Mariah. This is what she paints with, and she is making that, like, very approachable and accessible for anybody with this paint set. And that's really awesome especially if you're a beginner and you don't know how to mix colors, you don't know color theory, like you don't have to worry about it because I barely mixed anything compared to what I would normally do for a painting. And that was awesome. I mean, pretty much the only mixing I did was I added white to a couple things and then I mixed that brown and blue a couple times. There's a couple piles of it because it dried a couple times, but that's okay. Another thing I really liked were all the paintbrushes. I mean, there's so many sizes here and these paintbrushes are really unique. I mean, there's this rainbow handle. Let me just be honest. I think a lot of art supplies are pretty boring. Like until this year when Chloe came out with her brushes for the Artistic Bear Co. Let me show you. Mint handles, this is fun, this is cool, I love it. Rainbow handles, this is fun, this is cool, and I also love it. And I have to say, these brushes are great quality, like they did not shed when I used them, they painted so smooth, it was wonderful. So those are my thoughts. Also, like I never use these little paint dotter tools. I don't know why, they're awesome, I love them now. 
So you're probably gonna see these show up in a lot of future videos. Uh, last but not least, this paintbrush paint tube holder thing was adorable. I loved it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna link Mariah's stuff below in case you wanna check out her channel or you wanna check out her store and maybe get some paints of your own. She did not sponsor this video. She honestly has no idea I'm doing this. Well, I did just message her before I filmed it, but I don't know if she's read it yet or not, but yeah. She did not sponsor me. She did not ask me to do this. I bought this stuff with my own money because I wanted to support a friend of mine and I'm just blown away. I'm so proud of her. Mariah, if you see this, seriously, I'm proud of you. <laughs> this is so cool and I think you just exploded some fun, radiant energy into our art community with supplies that we can all use. Anyway, I'm gonna go paint the edge of this canvas off camera cause I always make a mess. I will see you in a couple days with another video. Be sure to tune in to my channel, Black Friday Weekend, because Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there will be a new video. So you can binge, you can marathon, and you can be creative with me. Okay, bye.